Welcome to Rat Rod Television, your home for thrust, lust, and rust. We're going to take you on a journey into backyards and garages where Junkabilly mechanics grab and fab their own cars from whatever they can find. There are no rules in the old school. You can win the brand new Lincoln Power MIG welder in the Rat Rod Build Competition. Throttle down, boys, and get ready for some hair-bending automotive entertainment. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Rat Rod TV. We've got a special treat in store for you tonight, a 1939 Chevrolet build complete from start to finish. John Preby from Straight 8 Productions in Paso Robles, California, sent us the DVD of the complete build. Now, remember, it's an amateur video, but we're going to show it the way he sent it. Wait till you see how much they spent on this car. So without further ado, one year in the making, the 39 Chevy build from Johnny B's Garage. Hi, I'm Keith, and this is my uh, 39 Chevy Rat Rod. Uh, I think this is one of the better ways to go because you don't have much money invested in them. Um, right now, I just basically got it done not too long ago, and I've already been to a couple of shows, and there's uh, one of the advantages is it just took about almost a little over a year to get to this point. Um, I don't have a lot invested in it, like I said. Um, and the other benefits is I can drive it like I stole it, and there's no problem. You know, I don't have to worry about the paint flaking off or breaking parts or anything because it's pretty cheap to repair if I need to. Do. And that. Fun, you get to go around being loud. Suburban, we scored it for a grand. It's a beautifully running truck. It's got a 454, a turbo 400 tranny. We're going to use it on my project truck, which is a 39 Chevy pickup. Um, we're going to just rip this one out, uh, turn down this engine, and throw it in the truck. And there she is underneath all that smog. A 454. Next time you see her, it's going to be all engine inside some frame rails. A couple of hours later and a few customers, we found that greasy old 50, 454 in transmission that's in here. Now we're inking her out. So here's the 454 with the turbo 400 we just pulled out of the Suburban up there. This is the running drivetrain for this vehicle right here. This is the 39 Chevy pickup truck that we're going to be uh, building here and making into a nice little rat rod. This here is the mock-up engine and heads. It's just to see how everything's going to fit, how we're going to weld everything together. What I've got going on down here is uh, so far we had the, salt, uh, the straight axle was original. We put in a dropped axle. We channeled the body down over the frame rails about, I don't know, saying eight inches. I don't know. That's pretty crazy. We got the bed. We've got the bed um, all all structured together. We're gonna be just skinning this straight. Nice little pattern here of uh, just over all the contours. We had to come in and and make a. Make a new cross member for that so we can clear all that out. We've got it uh, pretty well dropped in the rear here. Got a nice Ford 9 inch, you know, the ridiculous top of it. 
Rat Rod Television is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the welding experts, Chicago Pneumatics, pull the trigger, Ray Bestis, the best in brakes, seal the deal with Mr. Gaskin, by Monster Transmission, eat my shift, cop cams, go faster, by trailershopper.com, buy, sell, and trade, by summitracing.com, and by Full Contact Wrench, grip it, don't strip it. Chicago Pneumatic is the official air tool of Rat Rod TV. Do you want to know why? They're built to work and they're built to last. You can pay more for other tools, but you're not going to get more. Chicago Pneumatic is the Rat Rodder's tool of choice. So fill your hand and feel the power. Check out the full line of Chicago Pneumatic products at cp.com slash rr. cp.com slash rr and pull the trigger on one of these babies. This segment of Rat Rod TV is brought to you by KillBillet.com. For today's joy and fun on the 39, Keith is putting his fancy pantsy disc brake kit on, on his Rat Rod, which is a vile sin for many, but not for us, because we have a special thing. We like to stop. And to make this fine, fine rat rod safe and reliable, we're installing Ford Motorsports, Ford 9-inch backing plates complete, ready to go and new studs. With Kate Stanfield ground uh, T-bolts. Custom T-bolts because... Ford doesn't know what they're doing and we can't make them all the same. And you can't find any anywhere. Anywhere, except for eBay, which is like a month away. So, did that hurt? No. Just hit your head, huh? There's my shoulder. No. his armor for his 39 Chevy. Keith is repairing the numerous holes bed. We replaced it with a new bed panel. And old Swiss cheese -o. And we're getting this all cleaned up. Now here, you can see on the frame where we moved the springs to the outside of the frame instead of underneath to get the car down much lower. Plus, the whole frame was boxed in a quarter inch plate with a zigzag pattern on the inside. 
with super rigidity. And then the frame was also narrowed in to make it squared up to match the spring square as is the 60s cord the front. There he's installed his genie shifter. And he's installed his beautiful red powder coated with white lights. Steering collar has been shortened. Fit and sit in there, so none of your gut gets stuck on it. But that is the original steering column. Here it is with the 33 gallon fuel tank in it. Brand new bed panel up here, it looks pretty sweet. Down here, we're gonna fill it in with a piece of angle iron, get this gap taken up. Put the tailgate on it, and then eventually it's going to be all covered with the tonneau cover. Okay, we've moved quite along on uh, Pete's project here. All the firewall holes have been filled. They need to be ground down a little more to clean them up. Um, we're building an inner, inner floor structure in there, and repairing these bottom corners with some rock. You can barely see any of it left down here. What's left of it, we've already replaced it on the other side. Back. Hey, I'm Josie Combs. You're watching Rat Rod TV. Don't go anywhere. Rip it. Don't strip it. There's only one tool you need to remove tough nuts. Rip it. Don't strip it. The revolutionary new tri-point jaw changes the game. Rip it. Don't strip it. Ordinary adjustable wrenches only grab on two points. The new full contact wrench applies pressure to three sides and is guaranteed not to slip or strip. Rip it, don't strip it. The more pressure, the tighter it grips. Make full contact today at fullcontactwrench.com. Rip it, don't strip it. High performance for life with MLS head gaskets from Mr. Gasket. Engineered for high compression, turbo, supercharged, and nitrous engines. MLS is the multi-layer leak-proof answer guaranteed to seal in performance. Lock, performance. Lock it in for life with MLS from Mr. Gasket. XL, the GMHEI corrected distributor cap. Eliminate crossed ignition wires and dress up your engine for a clean look. A plug and play fit with ultra high dielectric strength to resist arc through. The GMHEI, GMHEI corrected distributor cap. New from XL. You can see all the floor structures getting all welded in here on this. Pretty for the uh, heat inch section that it's had done to it. Next is to finish all welding it up, repair that corner, and then we're going to flip it on its nose and clean up the understructure. Cool. I'm plasma lining right here, and I'm cutting out uh, all this rock. We're going to remove this section here. This is left of it. This will all be gone. We're going to put it back in like an eighth-inch plate, just in case it smacks into it with this low rider that it uh, will damage it. side over here is what it used to look like. It's been all sandblasted, shot with some uh, high temp paint and all the resist and stay there because it's all rusty and nasty. It's all beat up. Well we took over here and we added a piece of pipe in here. A heavy piece of pipe is under here to support this whole rail of this brush. And uh, then I put a big old support of some little inch plate here that ties in with the other piece of plate so when he hits this it'll uh, straight on over.
Keith is beating the edge with our fine hand metal brake here for his scrape rail. Right bottom of his truck. It looks just like that one right here. Ooh. It goes right here. Can't anticipate that breakaway. You can't. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't anticipate that breakaway. on the ground. Okay. Today in the garage, the continuation of the 39, we are making header baffles for these beautiful lake pipes. He's drilling a series of holes in a flat washer from Orchard Hardware Supply. He's a conduit and another washer on the other end and you shove it up in this pipe but you gotta punch a bunch of holes in it and some fiberglass uh, shreddings you can get from your local Harley Davidson and motorcycle shop. And uh, to quiet this thing down, otherwise you can't hear yourself think. You can drill some holes right now. And try, try not to hurt himself. This could be the comedy portion of the video. Is it anything, anytime I'm working, it is a comedy portion. Holy mo- Ow! <laughs> Keith, Keith is, uh, those pieces we showed you, the washer and the uh, little tube deal, uh, there it is, and you punch a whole series of a million little holes in it, do a couple on the end, and uh, then that uh, serrates the sound, tears it all up, see how in there? And you pack this outside with uh, fiberglass hair for your muffler. trailer for my motorcycle and was about to go out looking for one when I realized I gotta sell my old one. Good thing I found trailershopper.com. I can do both at the same time right from home. At trailershopper.com I can shop for a livestock trailer if I needed one, a race car, snowmobile, cargo, or even a horse trailer. Trust me, if you're looking to buy or sell any kind of trailer, new or used, you can do it at trailershopper.com. And sellers, your first classified ad is free. Even free one ads. trailershopper.com. Excel, the GMHEI corrected distributor cap. Eliminate crossed ignition wires and dress up your engine for a clean look. A plug and play fit with ultra high dielectric strength to resist arc through. The GMHEI corrected distributor cap. New from Excel. Here you see the headers, one built. That's beautiful. With the baffle in place. Needs to be packed with fiberglass. And over here you see me building one. 
I'm lining up the police. Step on it and I'll watch it. Was that cool or what? Send us an email and we'll send you a spec sheet on how to prepare your video to play right here on Rat Rod TV. It doesn't have to be a complete build. It can be anything interesting from shooting pinups to working on a motor to shooting your dog in your car. It doesn't matter. You send it, we'll play it. We have over 250 entries in the Win Amid competition and we're planning a complete episode to show as many of those entries as we can. So stay tuned and keep those cards and letters coming. We've been asked to start a directory of Rat Rod clubs and shows at ratrodtv.com, so send us the info on your club along with any photographs that are suitable for air, and you might see your club right here on Rat Rod TV. Wait till you see this, check this out. Steven Seville from Fort Worth, Texas, along with his kids, sent us the pictures of his new Rat Rod grill. Check this out. He used a 55 Chevy truck passenger side fender, a 47 Chevy truck hood. He mounted the fender to the grill, then made the front piece from some old wrenches. The headlight bezels from a 55, and the turn signal is an old lens he had laying around. The hood engine is off an old Ford. Now the lid has actually wood smoking stacks. That was his kid's idea. The handle to lift the hood is an old Hearst shifter with a piston welded to it. The back side of the grill has an old circle track oil pan and a valve cover to look like an engine. Well, bravo, Stephen. I think you may have started something here. We're going to send this to Rat Rod Magazine. Our regular Rat Rod Garage segment will continue in the next episode. So until then, go to ratrodtv.com, get one of these fancy new embroidered hats or the new Reality Garage t-shirts. Coming soon, the flat brim hats and beanies, and also you can order your collector sets of DVDs at ratrodtv.com. Remember, if you're going to build it, build it safe, and use a Lincoln. We'll see you next time on Rat Rod TV, your home for thrust, lust, and rust. Rat Rod Television is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the welding experts, Chicago Pneumatics, Hold the Trigger, Ray Vestas, the best in brakes. Seal the deal with Mr. Gaskin. By Monster Transmission, Eat My Shift. Cop Cams, Go Faster. By TrailerShopper.com, Buy, Sell, and Trade. By SummitRacing.com, and by Full Contact Wrench. Grip it, don't strip it. performance for life with MLS head gaskets from Mr. Gasket. Engineered for high compression, turbo, supercharged, and nitrous engines. MLS is the multi-layered leak-proof answer guaranteed to seal in performance. Lock, performance. Lock it in for life with MLS from Mr. Gasket. Got the ride.
Now get the edge at summitracing.com. Find parts fast with customizable search options. Shop by keyword, brand name, make, model, and more. Plus, find great deals in the Saving Central section. Get parts quick and easy with online checkout and fast shipping. And get the job done right with helpful instruction sheets, part suggestions, and a huge tech, huge tech archive. It's all at summitracing.com, your ultimate power tool. Rip it. Don't strip it. There's only one tool you need to remove tough nuts. Rip it. Don't strip it. The revolutionary new tri-point jaw changes the game. Rip it. Don't strip it. Ordinary adjustable wrenches only grab on two points. The new full contact wrench applies pressure to three sides and is guaranteed not to slip or strip. Rip it. Don't strip it. The more pressure, the tighter it grips. Make full contact today at fullcontactwrench.com. Rip it. Don't strip it. 